put that out, and I'll just check the time so that we don't go crazy overboard. Um, so the first question is um, for everyone, how do you see the relationship between activism and the arts? Anyone? Have any particular oh, There is a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> there is a relationship there. I mean, oh, thank, thank you. Um, yeah, well, I think, you know, obviously the arts is a really, like, creative, safe, safe space where you can kind of put out your opinion, put out your story, and, you know, that's directly linked to act activism, I think. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have anything else to add? Uh, I try. <laughs> um, Thanks. Um, I think when I first read that question, I was like, oh, guilt. Um, thinking about activism, I probably often think maybe a bit like where you were saying how things can get in the way or wondering, what's the best way to change the world? Uh, maybe I'd just rather like write a poem. But I think there's real power in stories, actually. I think stories can change the world. And we need people doing everything. So we need people shouting and in politics and in all the different spaces, but I think we've got to do our thing the best we can and not let guilt get in the way because that doesn't help anything. That's my thing. Um, yeah, so I agree with everything you just said, but um, <laughs> to elaborate, um, the, other than like the whole, yeah, the guilt thing of like, if you're doing the arts, then you're not doing enough activism, but if you go on a baseline of you want to make things better, then I found that the arts is also a really good space to avoid burnout for people that are like super active. And then just like building bridges and building community is like you put art out, you see it, you find your people. It's like oh, let's let's talk, let's do shit. So yeah, in that sense, I find it very important. Great, thank you. Um, and uh, what are the kind of issues um, based around gender at the moment that you're currently thinking about? Um, anything along those lines? I think really like thinking about my nieces and all these small women around me um, and girls and just really trying to be more aware of what I'm showing them. I guess like I'd put in the poem, but um, it makes me reflect a lot. And so I've got three sisters, one's here. Yay! Not the, mo not the mother of the babies. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's lots of like women around me. So I've been reflecting a lot on my mum and sisters and then also the new women in our family and how we, what messages we're telling them. So I guess that's just a personal, re very real thing and seeing how it's so easy to say stuff without thinking it through and thinking about what impact that could have. So that's kind of loosely related. Um, yeah, I think um, I've got some work friends here, so they've heard me say all this before, <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to steal what we said at work. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of times, um, like, girls, young girls growing up are told what not to do a lot with regards to, like, how to carry yourself, how to behave, how to behave in relationships, or how to behave just in general in society. And I don't think there's a lot of, like, but you should do this, you should be proud to take your space, you should be proud to act like this, you should be proud to act like that. It's just a lot of, like, oh, no, sorry, shouldn't do that, oh, can't take that space. And I think it's just very important that... Um, we don't do that anymore, and <laughs> to be honest. And um, I think, yeah, with the next generation, I, I would want to encourage women to like, just grow up and sort of take their own space, be proud of their own decisions. Even if, you know, people make bad decisions, that's okay, let's teach people how to deal with those decisions, rather than, you know, being like, no, you must never make them, because then when the fallout does happen, what, what can you do? You're not equipped for it in any way. Yeah. Woo! Gonna take it in a completely different direction. <laughs> um, um, like, one of the things that I love about um, just sort of like gender theory, gender studies in general, it's one of the very few truly interdisciplinary fields. Um, so, you know, just like the big buzzwords now of like intersectionality, and we're considering race, and we're considering class, and all of that is great.